Hello everyone and welcome to Moonlight Jewel. My name is Elisa and in today's video I'm finally going to show you how I'm making prints on fabrics for my doll clothes. But before we get started, I wanted to give a shout out to Doll's brand new look on YouTube. She's a super talented doll artist and if you haven't already, please go to her channel and check out her videos. I'll link her channel in the description box below. Alright, let's get started! The first thing I'm making before I'm starting to make my print is of course a design for it. For this print I wanted to make a pattern that would work for a lolita skirt. I came up with this little space kit surrounded by gems, ribbons, shooting stars and so on. This sketch will be my reference for the actual vector graphic I'm going to make. I like to use vector graphics because they are always sharp and crisp and work well for pattern designs. For making these graphics I'm using Adobe Illustrator. I basically start making the background with different shapes and colors first and then add more and more details. A big ribbon and beaded chains, etc. The last thing I'm making is the little kitty, which was inspired by my own cat Ludwig. He's the sweetest boy and I love him a lot. I'm roughly drawing the shapes of the cat first until I'm happy with the result.
then adding all the details and finally putting the cat onto the print. Then I'm bringing the whole print onto original size and put the single pieces together in a little bow for the skirt pattern. I'm also making a second file with little stars I'm going to make from golden fabric vinyl. For the colorful cat print design I'm going to use printable fabric vinyl for dark textiles. My father gets these vinyls from a bigger company, but you can order those on Amazon as well. This fabric vinyl is white and will work on colorful fabrics as well, which is amazing. Before printing the design, I need to open the Illustrator file in another vector program called Coral Draw. Here I can put cutting marks onto the paper, which I will need for cutting the print out with a circuit later. You can skip the scab and cut it out by hand, of course, as well. Then I'm printing it out with my laser printer and end up having something like this. Now I'm just marking the outline of the print and load it into the cutting software for the circuit and let it do the magic. Now 
After it was cut, I just need to remove the excess. I made the cutting lines a bit too delicate first, so I end up making a second print, which worked a lot better. For the golden stars, I'm using this golden fabric vinyl. I put the vinyl into the circuit, load the star file into CorelDRAW and send it to the cutting software. And voila, here we have some stars. Of course we need to remove the excess here as well. Now we can see the shapes more clearly. Finally, time to iron everything on. I cut out the pattern piece from pink fabric and put it onto the iron press. You can absolutely use a normal iron as well, but since my dad has the press in his company, I might just use it. I put the temperature according to the instructions on the vinyl, place the cat print onto the fabric and iron it on. Looks great! Now I'm just adding the stars and iron them on as well. After they've been ironed on, I just remove the transfer cast and the fabric is printed. Now I'm just adding a little lace to the bottom seam, gather the skirt and add a waistband and a closure and we have a super cute Lolita skirt. I really love how the cute print turned out and I hope you liked this video. You can of course print out little pictures you've drawn and scanned on vinyl and cut them out with scissors instead of a circuit as well. There are millions of methods you can use these vinyls and I just love to create unique fabrics with this method.
and by the way, my Jennifish girl is up for sale on my Etsy store, so now is the rare chance to grab one of my dolls. Link is in the description box below. And yeah, this is how I'm making prints for my doll clothes. I hope this video was helpful to you and maybe inspired you to make your own fabric designs as well. And also, I want to thank all of my patrons. Akanet Silas, Andrea, Ashley M, Aria, Barbara Walker, Brittany Busquet, Karina Fröhlich, Cassia Streamland, Crystal1314, D2, Deborah O'Hare, Diana Rast, Diana the Doll Fairy, Doll Oasis, Dolls Brand New Look, Emily Erickson, Emily McKenney, Gio Sindo, Jacqueline, Jetta Grace, Kiwi of Doom, Cornelia Luki S, Leila Soto, Luna and Stella Dolls, Midori Kiwi, Mira, Michelle Wallace, Mizu Yagami, Nikki Harris, Orlando Rosario, Pride Crochet, Kirin Doll, Rachel Gethlin, Rin Sunomori, Rose Pendleton, Sally L, Senanas, Sharon Starnes, Sophie Lesher, Stubby and the Kids, Sugarland Gift Shop, and Veronica Haynes. Without your support, nothing of this would be possible, and I'm so thankful for that. Also, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for some more doll art in the future. See you in the next video and have a beautiful creative day. Bye!